I gotta be totally honest, I almost didn't recognize that like five minutes had already almost amassed. I was too lost in the bang bangs. Hello! Welcome to the shark stream. I mean, I, I hope you know that's where you're at. If you're if this isn't where you're supposed to be, then I'll stick around anyway. Maybe you'll learn something. We're all about knowledge and enter and edutainment here on the shark stream. <coughs> on occasion, at least. Hello, welcome. It's me, it's Gage. Who else would it be? Um, and, ooh, golly, is it Wednesday? We're not starting as early as I normally, as I have been on Wednesday this week, because uh, Woomy Wednesday has ended, which means that uh, I don't need to rush to, to finish 
a near stream lest good fr my good friends Audrey and B decide to crash the stream and harass me until I'm done. Um, but maybe they will anyway. Who knows? They're wild cards, those two. Um, but, uh, yeah, so uh, I won't be on the Catpool stream tonight with whatever it is that they're doing because uh, Woomy Wednesday is over and I don't have I don't have a reason to be on there now. Unless they find a reason. Fuck if I know. Maybe I'll receive a message halfway through that's just like, Gage, you want to you wanna do this thing? And I'll just be like, maybe. I don't know. What is it? I don't actually know what they're playing tonight. I don't know if they know what they're playing tonight. It's a mystery to everybody. And isn't that part of the fun? But hello. And welcome to this, other, this new stream of Nier Automata where I definitely still have the save file, and it hasn't been fucking yotin off to the ether. We definitely still have it because it's attached to an actual account now, and not a guest account, which are fleetingly temporary. Um, before we get started today, a couple things uh, to discuss. A couple, a couple recent recent happenings um the last of us series has premiered i haven't watched it <laughs> i'm not a hundred percent certain if i will i might i like the last of us just fine the first one at least um so like i am at least somewhat interested in it to an extent but it's just like I can only take so many articles about some chuckle fuck being like, oh, will it break the video game adaptation curse? As if we haven't had several good video game adaptations in just the last, like, five years. Like, y'all know I stand Sonic, obviously. I love those movies. They're good movies. The Castlevania series is fucking fantastic. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Reservations that, like, the main dude might have about it uh, aside. Um, the Witcher series takes as much from the games as it does from the books. With, you know, fucking Henry Cavill working in, like... Uh, his, like, interpretations of Ger of Geralt. And, I mean, like, let's be real here, there's a lot of people who probably weren't even aware that those were books to begin with. And there's also a lot of people who weren't aware they were games to begin with. It really kind of depends on which side you're coming at it from. Detective Pikachu is really good. Like, there's just, there's so many... Like, I don't think that there's been, like, a truly bad video game adaptation for a while. Like, even I was fine. Like, I was... Like, listen, I love the fucking Alice saga that is the, the Resident Evil movies. Like, the, the six-part epic that is the Paul W.S. Anderson Resident Evil films. For being, like, trash. But, like, I watched Welcome to Raccoon City, and I thought it was fine. I actually really enjoyed it. I hope they make a sequel. I watched the live-action series, and, like, it was weird, but I was okay with it. I've seen... Basically, I saw somebody say there's a lot more, like, kind of mid-range to good to, like, genuinely fantastic video game adaptations recently. Like, even the ones that people, like, complain about recently, from what I understand, aren't even necessarily that bad. Halo got a fucking second season. I haven't watched it yet. I want to. I love Halo. I love Halo more than I love The Last of Us. <laughs> but, like, we're gonna, like... I don't know. It's just... It's it's obnoxious. It's obnoxious to see, like... Video games still having to break out of this... Oh, are video games art? Uh, like, debate, like, years and years and years after, like... This whole fucking debate has started. Yes, there are. Yes, they're worthy of analysis. 
Hello, Designer Gaze. You're back in America. Welcome back, and or my condolences. <laughs> um, I hope you had a good time on your trip. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I I want to I want to watch the Last of Us series, but just like the fucking like masturbatory a attitude that like some of the like people working on it have like this self-congratulatory oh we're finally making the good video game adaptation as if like this is even like the first good video adapt video game adaptation in the last year like for god's sakes we got sonic the hedgehog 2 last year that movie fucked <laughs> And Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is going to come out next year, and Shadow the Hedgehog is going to be in it. <laughs> like, it's over, you know? Like, if they if they nail Shadow the Hedgehog, then, like, good lord, that's going to be probably the greatest piece of video game adaptation media of all time. Let's be real here, it won't even be a contest. What else has happened recently? Episode 2, two of the Nier Automata anime. Uh, came out this past weekend. Good lord, am I so glad that they decided to air this at the same time that I'm playing the video game Nier Automata so that we get this really good synergy. Um, so the second episode has come out and already they are starting to kind of like... Was the anime good? Oh yeah, it's really good so far. They're already starting to... Um, uh, fulfill the promise or the, the 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 statement that they made prior to the anime airing where they were just like oh yeah it's not going to be a one-to-one -one adaptation of the game there's going to be things that are different um the the entire so spoilers for the near automata anime the entire first half of the newest episode um is dedicated to kind of a side story that you learn about i want to say in some of the DLC content of near of near automata um, which is interesting and it doesn't play out like the same way that it plays out in uh, in the sides content that you find in the game um, so like that's gonna be interesting because that means that it's not just like a combination of like roots a and B but they're also gonna be working in like uh, little bits of, like, hey, here's a little side story. There's also, um, they work in the storybook cutscenes, and they're made, like, practically with, like, cu paper cutouts and stuff like that. It's super interesting. And then the first, seemingly, the seemingly the first major difference has already cropped up. The leader of the resistance in the anime is Lily. Now, that may not mean much to anybody who sort of like casually enjoys the near series and isn't like hasn't like dove into like the extra stuff like the side content and stuff like that the yorha stage play uh or anything like that um but like to someone like me who has experienced the story of the goddamn like pearl harbor descent four or five fucking times over uh this is actually kind of a big deal um let's go ahead and get into the game and i'll explain why i also gotta turn off the bing bangs give me a second So in the back in the backstory of Near Automata, there is an event called the Pearl Harbor Descent. Um, it was one of the first like genuine Yorha missions. I'm not going to get into the details of it, but suffice to say, not everybody involved in it made it out. In fact, pretty much all but two people died. One of those people was supposed to have been Lily, who is one of the Resistance androids, kind of like Anemone. Uh, who we've met uh, thus far in game. Um, so in Near Automata the game, Anemone is is the leader of the resistance, but
But in the anime, Lily, who was supposed to have died during the Pearl Harbor descent mission, is the resistance leader. And I have no idea what the fuck that could mean, potentially. I assume at some point the anime is going to give us a flashback. And we're going to learn all about the Pearl Harbor descent. But for now, we are left to speculate. There's also weirdly been no word on, like, a dub for the series, so we don't know if we're going to be getting, like, the game actors for that. Near Tomina anime would th be this de decade's Puella Magi, Madoka Magica. You know, I never watched Madoka, personally. I've heard it's good. Just never gotten around to it. Alright, so, our current uh, actual uh, quest is that we're supposed to head to the Forest Kingdom, which is kind of where we are, but we have to get over here. This is our current destination. But as you can see, we got a bunch of these little guys pockmarked all over our map. We got side quests. And you know what we're going to do this week? We're going to do side quests. We're going to pick up a mushroom. We're going to transport to the resistance. Well, no, let's see if we can... Yeah, let's go to the near factory. Let me tell you, for Magical Anime Series, PMM is hyper-stylized. And based on what I heard about near Tom and Anime Series, it's going to be equally stylized as well. It does some interesting things style-wise. Um, the bulk of it is pretty, like, standard, like, animation and stuff like that. But like I said, there's the storybook segments, which we're going to be seeing more of when we get to uh, the Route B section of Nier Automata. Um, oh. Operator 6 to 2B. Oh, hey, 6 to 2B here. From the new access point has gone silent. I'm sending you the positional data. Please investigate the site as soon as possible. Understood. So, one of the quest lines we're doing right now is the Yorha Betrayers. We are looking for some Yorha units who. Have, have betrayed. But yeah, the storybook segments are uh, stylized as like paper cutouts. And then there is the uh, post credit sequences, which actually go over some of like the uh, comical, like alternate endings that you can get in the game. Uh, in the first one, they did the one that you get if you uh, self-destruct while on the while uh, aboard the bunker. Which is a personal favorite of mine. I do it every time I go back to the bunker. Or, I do it pretty much every time I start the game, honestly. And then in the second one, they did the one that you get if you remove the OS chip uh, from your chip loadout. Huh. Not sure why I'm having so much trouble getting these particular side quests to pop. <laughs> I don't remember if these need to be... if these, like, locations need to be done, like, in a specific order. Or what hast thou?
but gosh darn it, we're going to investigate until something fucking happens. Something better fucking happen soon, because I'm going to get real tired about it. I'm going to get real tired of this, let me tell you. Yep, hold on. To be. Hmm, nothing here. Alright, one last place to check. Over towards the factory, it looks like. Which we can check to see if we can find 11B's memento on our way there. I want to say that 11B's memento is all the way back at, like, the start of, like, the very first level that we were in, in the abandoned factory, so we would need to backtrack to that point. I think so, at least. Pew pew. Haha, <laughs> gotcha, idiot. The just sort of, like, ambient walking around music in this game is so calming. It's nice. I like it. There from your huh? There we go. Alert. Targets are rogue units 22B and 64B, currently designated for detention. Um... Hey, is that... They cut for us, idiot! Prepare to engage and inform... You're both currently wanted by command for desertion. Disengage and surrender immediately. Shut Oop. your trap! Yeah, that worked. Working as intended. Hold up. The captain is ordering a retreat. Understood. Ah, beans. They got away. Well, we'll just have to check the other places that it told us to check. So, I want to say that the deserters actually show up in the anime in one scene. Which I think is neat. There's like a scene where there's it's like uh, going over the uh, broadcast from the Council of Humanity on the moon. And it shows a bunch of uh, different Yorha units that you can actually find in the world, I'm pretty sure. Um, like, there's one of them... Uh, oh. <laughs> There's one of them who you can find at an oasis in the desert. Uh, we haven't gone to that area yet. Not for any specific reason, but like... Ow. Uh, and then I think it shows an NPC that you can get, like, a side quest from in, like, the, uh, back half of the game. Once you get to, like, Roots C and D.
Ow. And then I'm pretty sure it shows the deserters. Or at the very least, I think it's 2-2-B and 6-4-B. Reasonably certain. Like, I wouldn't bet money on it. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was them. Okay, it says there's two enemies up here, so I'm assuming that's the betrayers. Ladies. Targets are rogue units 22B and 64B, currently designated for detention. Damn it. I'll kill you. I don't know why I'm like really harping on like 22B for some reason. Like, the game's just like, here, target this one first. I'm just like, yeah, sure, alright. She seems upset. I think she's mad. Are you angry at me? Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on, I fucked up. Is constantly shooting her making it difficult for me to tell when she's attacking? Yes. Am I still going to keep doing it? Absolutely. Oh, hey. Oh, fuck. Unit AB specializes in close quarters combat. Rapunzel, destroy enemy with long range attacks. Destroy? What happened to detain you? Ow. Ow. Ooh, she's getting me. <laughs> Ma'am. She has a lot of weapons on her, I'm noticing. Like, more than I'm allowed. Ow. Who said you could have four weapons at a time? That's not fair. Like, I have four weapons, but, like, not all at once. What the fuck does your control scheme look like? Ugh. 
Ah. Whoa. 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 Don't do that. Don't do that. Ow. Ow. That's like myself. That's like my whole self. Woo. Ah! My guts. Okay. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're fine. We're fine. I am out of small heals for sure. But that's okay. Because I think I've got plenty of medium heals to get me through this fight. Ow. 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 Rude. Woo! I got 10,000 gold out of that. I feel awful. Type 4 Lance. Nice. Hooray! Killed them. Da -da 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 Why the hell did they steal from the resistance in the first place? You think Anemone might know something to be? Let's find out. Let's go ask. Uh resistance is over there. Oh, Anemone! Why do these ladies steal from you? Oh, she got a quest. Yes? Can I help you? We need to check something with you, actually. Can you tell us about the Yorha soldiers who were stealing your supplies? This is the first I've heard of it. Huh? I mean, we keep our supplies in multiple locations, but so far as I know, nothing's gone missing. I see. Well, thanks. Fucked up, if true. Is it possible that we were perhaps lied to? It turns out those soldiers didn't actually steal anything. Which means... what? 9S to command. Come in. Operator 210 here. Go ahead. It's about the Yorha soldiers who deserted. Copy that, 9S. We've confirmed their status on this end. No, but I mean... The Resistance says that none of their supplies are actually missing. So what's going on here? I lack access to the data concerning this mission. Huh? The order came from the commander herself. What? Operator, I don't understand. Be careful, 9S. I have no further information. Huh? Operator? Operator? The hell is that all about? Let's go. But we're here to fight. That's all. We did it. Do we feel good about this? Does anybody feel good about this? I don't feel good about this. Oh, hey, who's that? Bunch of folks around here. I wonder who those two mysterious individuals could be. They actually showed up in the anime too. I was I was pretty excited for that. I didn't expect them to show up so early. Why can't I stop thinking about it? Stop thinking about what? Yeah! What? Who are you? We're with Yorha. And Amini told us to told us to make ourselves at home. Oh, right. So, what can't you stop thinking about? Oh, it's just... One of my friends has a box that makes... A box? A box that makes music when you open it. And I can't get the damn song out of my head. It's just so beautiful. I've never heard anything like it. To make it worse, I can only remember the first part of the song. Ah, it's driving me nuts. I wish he'd just come back to camp so I could hear the damn thing again. 
Yeah, if we don't help her, she'll never get any work done. A box that plays sound. Odd. Analysis. The item in question is likely a music box. It should be located in an area where music is playing. Proposal. The local amusement park would be a logical area for reconnaissance. That's some fuzzy logic there, Pod. But hey, might as well try it. Not like we have any other leads to go on. A manager's request accepted. There's another person over here... Who has a quest. You. Hmm. Is something wrong? You're from Yorha, right? I don't suppose you'd... The thing, the thing is, I recently came out on the losing end of a scuffle with some machine life forms. The battle ended up corrupting a portion of my memory, which is a serious pain, as I'm sure you can imagine. Take these photographs, for instance. I have no idea when they were taken or even what they are. I only know that they're important. <coughs> Excuse me. I recognize that you're busy, but if you have the time to help me out, I'd appreciate it. Help her recover her memories! Thank you so much. If you find the location shown in any of these photos, please send me the coordinates. Hopefully that will help me recover my missing memories. We'll let you know if we find anything. Thank you. Photographs accepted. Hmm. These places look familiar. One looks like the amusement park. One looks like the desert. And one looks like the forest. Let's keep our eyes open next time we're in any of those areas. Sounds like a plan, but first... We're going to go ahead and pop over. Oh, it's the cave one that's under attack. We're going to go over to the factory so that we can do the 11B thing. Okay. So, like I said, if I recall correctly, the way that this one works is that the thing that we're looking for is actually all the way back at the start of the abandoned factory section from the beginning of the game. So, we just gotta head through the abandoned factory backwards. And not worry about that elevator yet. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Stop worrying about it. If you continue to worry about it, I will have to take action. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure everything here is still, like, an incredibly low level. Give me whatever gold you got on you. That's a lot of gold. You died here with that? Oh. That's not as much gold. Ow. All right. Don't worry about that. Listen, Danny. Don't even worry about it. 
God, it's been a hot minute since I've watched the room. What a fucking film. What a fucking experience that is. Oh, I'm gonna grab this. Woo woo! The Room is one of those movies that I would honestly recommend anybody to see at least once in their life. In part because, like, I feel like they just... You, they just don't make bad movies like that, like that anymore, honestly. Like, if you ask me. And I know that you asked me. I know you did. The Room is amazing, only if you watch it with crowds. That's definitely one way to watch it. I would also recommend just, like, honestly just watching it with friends and just ripping on it. Closest thing for that was the 2019 Cats movie. I still haven't finished that. I started watching it, but I was just like, oh, this is a lot already. Catchy songs, though. There's a, um, a YouTuber that my wife Natalie showed me who uh, analyzes music in films a lot. Um, and they have a whole thing about, like, oh, why the music in the 2019 Cats movie is worse than you think it is. And it's actually, like, kind of incredible. Sideways? I think so. He's also got a really good video about the music from The Matrix, and how, like, it is criminally, like, underappreciated. I hate Boner for Tom Hooper, apparently. I mean, he does also have that whole video about, uh, Les Mis as well. And how a lot of, like, the shit in Les Mis is, is like, active, actively dangerous for the uh, performers to be doing. Especially with goddamn, like, Hugh Jackman, like, dehydrating himself to get, like, the fucked up look for Jean Valjean accurately. I'm trying to think about other good videos that he has. Because I've watched a few of them and I remember them being pretty good. The Matrix one is always a standout to me because I just that's just a really good one, honestly. I think my favorite part of, like, the, uh, oh, they're all facing the other way, because normally you're supposed to come from that direction. That's hilarious. I think the one about, uh, Les Mis is really fun, fun to me, because, like, one of the things that he kind of ends on that, with that video is just, like, I hate what they did with Les Mis, because, like, they've proved that, like, Everything that they did was a terrible idea, but the second that it act that any of it actually works the way that they want it to, it's incredible. Like he talks about how like fucking fantastic Eddie Redmayne is in that movie, and it's 
he's right, honestly. Like, old Ed Redman, like, did a fantastic job. I like Les Mis when I watch it in the theater. I still like it, honestly. Like, I watch it on occasion, and, like, it's probably one of the more accessible ways for me to actually, like, see the musical itself. Um, I say this in the same way that, like, say, uh, the Silent Hill HD collection is the most accessible way for me to experience Silent Hill 2 and 3. <laughs> Silver ore. That's a Yorha unit. Fuck, it sure is. Yorha Type B body confirmed. It belongs to the missing unit known as 11B. So this is where you landed. Pod, can you access her black box? Negative. Unit 11B's black box has been irreparably damaged. Rip. Hmm. Proposal. Unit 2B should recover any usable weapons. Fragmented data detected in memory region. Alright. My sword now. 11B's escape plan. Elapsed time. 2.13. Or 2 minutes 13 seconds. Reactivation complete. A check of my body reveals various failures. Communication functions have been destroyed. I cannot contact my team or the bunker. I left a draft of this message here as a log. Lapse time, 10 minutes, 13 seconds. I verify the plan once more. Using my supposed destruction in this sortie as a guise, I sever all communication. I then pass beneath the abandoned factory and escape. Further analysis reveals that I took anti-air fire while in the flight unit, resulting in damage to my body. No matter, it can be repaired. Lapse time, 15 minutes, 21 seconds. I'm cold. My sensory systems seal seem to be failing. Lapse time, 33 minutes, 12 seconds. Noise has started to cloud my vision. Virus warnings appear frequently. It's unclear whether I'm infected or if the system is in error. Elapsed time, 33 minutes, 21 seconds. Repairs are proceeding poorly, perhaps because I am flustered. Pursuers will come if I don't move soon. Was I wrong to attempt escape? Elapsed time, 33 minutes, 31 seconds. I'm scared. I want to go back to the bunker, but I can't restore communications. Elapsed time, 38 minutes. This can't continue. I can't stay here. I have to run. Your hot squadron was wrong. I have to find somewhere safer. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Elapsed time, 45 minutes. Painful. It hurts. Help. Why stop? Who am I? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I need to run. She was planning to go AWOL. Violation of regulations detected. However, due to the death of the unit in question, corrective punishment is impossible. I'll bring this weapon back to 16D in the bunker. Okay. So now we just gotta get back out of the factory. I kind of like their approach. It was an interesting approach to take. Um, it just wasn't a good idea on a lot of accounts, but like when it worked, it was amazing. But I don't know. It feels weird to be like, oh, in the few moments where this is, like, clearly a brilliant idea. It was really good, and then... But then, like, ignore the fact that, like... Kurt Russell's singing sounds like shit. Hugh Jackman's singing sounds like shit. Which is weird, because they have, like, the musical theater experience. They've been in musicals before. Russell Crowe, what did I say? Did I say Kurt Russell? I fucking get those two mixed up all the time. I don't know what it is. Like, it's weird. A bitch tries to say Kurt Ru or fucking god damn it. I did it again. A bitch tries to say Russell Crowe and instead a bitch says Kurt Russell. I'm bitch in this scenario. I don't know if that was clear or not. Bitch. 
But yeah, Russell Crowe singing sounds like shit. Hugh Jackman singing sounds like shit, which is just wild. And they've done performances, like, of the, uh... Ah. Okay. A little a funky little shortcut. They've done performances of, like, some of the, um, Javert Valjean duets, where, like, they've sounded great because of, like, not having to deal with all the shit that they had to go through, like, during the production of that movie. You know, speaking of video essayists, though, um, there's one that I saw recently. Um, that was a video essay about the 2007 video game The Darkness. Uh, which is probably one of my favorite sort of, like, hidden gem games from, like, that era. Wow, incredible. And which I have played on stream previously, but it, like it was a while ago. And I found out that it's actually going to be the 15th anniversary of that game's release this year. And I'm thinking about possibly doing another stream of it. Or, wait. No, it came out in 2007, so last year was the 15th anniversary. It would be the 16th anniversary this year. Beans, I already missed it. <laughs> oh, well. Next year's the 10th anniversary of Evil Within, so I got that going for me. <laughs> This is why you always got to double check your math, folks. Um, but yeah, it was a uh, video about uh, the dorkness, and it was really good. Talks about a lot of cool stuff. They talk, a, they do a, a bit of comparison of it to like the sequel. Um, which was, of course, made by a different team with, like, a completely different sort of, like, design ethos from the first game. Like, the first game, much like um, one of its predecessors from Starbreeze, uh, Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay, is kind of like an, Im an immersive sim light. Like, we're not talking, like, full-on immersive sim, like, say, uh, fucking... Uh, What's it called? Dishonored. But, like, kind of close. And, like, I like that, honestly. It's got some interesting stuff going for it. Who the hell is this? Okay. 
Sorry, I got a follower request on one of my Twitters. And it's not anyone I recognize pretty definitively, which I'm just like, whoopsed. Ooh, I smell food. We're apparently having a uh, stroganoff to tonight. Hello, ma'am. Oh, 2B, hello. I found 11B's body along with his weapon. He handed over 11B's belongings. The battle log is still intact on this. She must have fought right up to the end. I always knew she was the bravest of us all. Thank you, 2B. But I think you should keep it. You're a combat model, after all, whereas I'm a defensive unit. I'm sure 11B would be happy knowing it was being put to good use. All right. You obtained a weapon. Your high issue blade! We're gonna go ahead. We're not gonna divulge 11B's plans, honestly. Are you sure this is everything? There's no other information? I'm sure. Well, at least now I can put her memory to rest. Can I admit something to you? 11B and I, we were in a relationship. She promised to protect me. It all seemed so romantic at the time. But now she can't. I've been thinking of converting to a combat model like you and her. That way I could avenge her death. I see. Anyway, thank you. Oh, and here, you should take this. I don't have a reason to protect myself anymore. Melee defense plus six chip. Range defense up. Melee defense up. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> I want to say she goes a little bonkers if you tell her about it. But I don't really remember off the top of my head. How much G do I have? 30k? That's pretty good. I could probably get something with that. Oh, and once we're out of this elevator, let me check my weapons and see if anything that I've picked up is better than what I've got. Because I got a lance from the Yorha Betrayer's quest line. Is this better than what I have? Go ahead and equip that. This is not better than Virtuous Contract. At least not at level 1. Oh, and we should stop at the... Uh, weapon Upgrader. See if he's got anything new for us. Let's quick save and let's transport down to the Resistance Camp. Alright. Then we'll hop around the city ruins doing uh, the memory stuff. But first things first, I do want to check on potential upgrades. Hello, sir. I can upgrade the Fang of the Twins. I don't want to, though. <laughs> I buy some of those, but I think I would prefer to get some more space for chips. Let's go whole hog and just get the plus 24 storage. We're doing a bunch of quest uh, side quests. We can we can go ahead and just Looks like balance and attack focus are both pretty much the same thing. Let's see. Not to use item, drop rate up, moving speed up, moving speed up, a uh, couple HP ups, range defense, melee defense, 
and Shockwave. Cool. That's a pretty good spread, honestly. Oh, wait. I should just, I should just fucking teleport. What am I doing? Alright, so one of the memories, as well as the music box mission, are in the park ruins. So let's go there first. Some of these textures aren't loading in as quickly as I'd hoped they would. There's a few things over there, including an item box. First things first. Hold on. This is one of the places in that resistance member's photographs. Better record the coordinates. All right. I'm glad that there's, like, a decent spread of uh, lines in this game that are, like, voice acted. Two hundred G. Is this Ooh. the music box she was looking for? That's Damn, corpse. This thing is all rusted over. Look, a corpse. You think the box? Check it out, a dead body. Poor girl died a long time ago, by the looks of it. Let's bring this back to her friend. I don't know what this is. Thank you. Alright, before we head back, we're gonna go ahead and do... see about doing the other... Uh, photograph locations, which... One of those is going to be the Oasis in the Desert, which I was actually talking about just a little bit ago. Funnily enough... Hilariously enough. Absolutely but 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 gustingly <laughs> gut bustingly hul What the fuck <laughs> am I fucking saying? Holy shit. Alright. Uh It's getting warm in here. My brain's getting a little fried. Alright, we wanna go to the center of the desert. Okay, so right now we are looking for the oasis. Oh, hold on, what's this? It's up there. It's, it's up there. I also got a little, little thing here. I don't know what this is. That might be something to investigate. But uh, let's go ahead and head for the photographs area first. Now, you may be asking yourself... Alright, you have a good one, Designer Gaze. You may be asking yourself, Gage, wouldn't this be a lot easier to traverse if you had, like, animal food and could, like, convince a boar to let you ride it through yonder desert? To which I say, oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm not gonna do that, but it would definitely be easier. Hello, sir! wonder what kind of civilization used to exist here. 
probably a fucking weird one that had like hundreds of thousands of rules about absolutely fucking everything. Their king probably ate shit fighting a giant boar creature. Okay, I think we gotta... Gotta go up and around. Here we go. Woo! Alright. It's a secret to everybody. This place looks familiar. Oh, right. It's from that woman's photograph. I'll be sure to get her the coordinates. Desert photo recorded. Picks up the body. Slorp. Deadly heal obtained. Crystal obtained. So this, this Yorhai unit actually shows up in a shot in the most recent episode of the anime. Hello. Hi. A flock of birds came to rest their wings here. I wonder if they instinctively knew how to escape the storm. It seems like time moves more slowly here. If you've got nothing to do, why don't you try fishing? Everyone loves settling down for a round by the pond. Why are you here? I like your outfit. It's very pretty. Alright, I'm gonna go. I actually need to leave. I have, like, stuff to do. Oh, hold on. Gold ore obtained. Gold ore, or gore. Wait. No, that's a different thing. I have a message on Discord. God damn it, Marty. <laughs> Show yourself! <laughs> You motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. <laughs> Unlike Boost Basted, that's not going to be one that I can put on a t shirt. Probably. Alright, now there's this other, like, big area in the middle of the fucking desert that it's signaling me. I thought this was, like, about the Colosseum that you can find out here, but no, that's here. So what the fuck is this? We had plenty of, uh... Streams for the first near... Or for, I, well, not the first near, but like near Replicant, where we just did side quests. So, might as well have the same here. Here's an item. I grabbed the item. It's Kapor. Oh, it's Kapor. So, what the fuck is over here? That's telling me about. Tech manual. We tech those. There's an item. Item, it's an item. It's 300 gold. Hey, what's that? Yeah. Hello. Is this a pod? Hypothesis. The owner discarded this pod and left it in safe mode. Motives unknown. Why was it abandoned? Pod, reactivate it for me. If it's usable, try to overwrite the original owner with my ID. Activation complete. Access granted. Previous owner ID successfully overwritten. Special weaponry now available. Which one's this one? Oh, this is the missile one. This is pretty good. So there's three pods that you can find throughout the game. Um, 
my favorite one we're not going to get for a little bit. All right, since we're over here, we might as well go for this thing. Which is hidden away. Pew pew. Fuck you. Oh, so as a uh, little demonstration here. So essentially, each pod has like a different primary fire. Um, and it's great because you can put different alt fires on them as well. Uh, hmm? Something's trying to shoot at me. Wormst? Um, but because you can put different alt fires on them, you can switch to another one. Uh, rather than having to, like, go into the menu and, like, switch out which alt fire program you want to have on, like, your primary pod. So this should be another save point that we can use over here. Nothing new in our inbox. Uh, we got a little oil lake over here. And I think this oil lake, if I remember right... Commencing fishing. ...has specific kinds of fish in it. Like fucked up fish. Like, we just get, like, machine fish. So we just got a machine mackerel. Ancient mask obtained. An ancient mask, you say? Huh. Old mask left behind by machine life form can be exchanged for money. Oh yeah, some of these things, I believe, um, are pretty much only here for you to, like, sell, basically. Mecha mackerel. A macaca roll. Macaque. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. That's fine. There should be... NPCs! Hello! Greeting! Progress isn't exactly going as planned. And command keeps pestering me, so I gotta do something. Why do I always draw the short straw? Hey there! Hope you don't mind, but I've been tracking your activity log. Your success has inspired me to work harder during my own missions. Cool. Why are y'all up here? Exactly. What's uh, the point of that? You know, it's fine. I'm just going to go grab this chest over here. Arrange defense up. Torn book. All right, and then back to the forest. Let's see if we can't track down that final photograph. Final graph. Look at this photo photo graph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. It's pretty funny, I guess. Like it's fine. Yoink. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. 
How did I, uh, our eyes get so red? My head on your knees, head. When I grew up. These machines. They were talking about a king, right? I saw what looked to be a castle further in. Maybe we should take a look. Nah. Okay. That's all the coordinates that resistance member wanted. Forest photo recorded. Hell yeah. I'll be honest though. I don't quite get why she cares about these particular photos. Everyone has memories that are precious for one reason or another. It's not for us to judge their value. They're important to her. That's all we need to know. Yeah, I guess. Damn to be that was profound. Oh, don't do that. Everybody going on about Forest King. Ah, ooh, ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. ow fuck shit. Ah, fuck. Stop it. Ow. Fucking shit. Rude. Ooh. I keep accidentally shooting the mooses. And I feel real bad about that. Sorry, mooses. No, not the moose. No, not the moose. Excuse me, sir. Are you gonna come down here, or are you just gonna... Okay. Thank you. So there is a secret thing over here that we definitely want to do. Because doing it will assist us in future endeavors. There's a really good spot in here where you can like farm other people's dead bodies for like huge amounts of money. Ah! Boar attack! Oh, fuck! Oh, they're level 30. Ah, fuck. Keep him off his ba keep him off balance, keep him off balance. Ah shit, I am off balance. Okay. Woo! 
please, I beg of you. Yeah. Please, I beg of you. Spare the animals. Fine, we'll spare your critters. Ah, uh, thank you. So why do you have all these animals here anyway? Long ago, I rescued a hurt animal. I do not remember the reason. The creature took a liking to me. She followed me wherever I went. We played together whenever we could. She was warm. She made me happy. Interesting. Now, if I find a creature that is weak or injured, I bring them here. I watch over them until they are healthy again. Thank you for sparing them. Please visit us again. We would welcome you anytime. We'll see. Oh, thank you. Got some animal bait, 5,000G, and a bunch of experience. Dope. One of the things that I like about this game is that even if you are, like, facing a uh, friendly machine, um, it'll still allow you to target and attack them until they die. Like, it's just, like, you can't fully escape, like, the programming. Any sort of, like, resistance you show to it is entirely on you, essentially. I think there's something beautiful about that. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and head back to the... Whoop. Let's not go that way. We're gonna go ahead and head back to, um... We're gonna head to Pascal's village, actually. Because we're gonna do the, the Jean-Paul's Melancholy... Um... Quest line. Because that one's actually kind of... It gives you a bit of insight into some stuff we're actually also going to learn about during, uh, Route B. Oh, that's a little hot. It's good, though. Stroganoff. She's stroking me off because we got beef. Okay, so there is a particular machine that we have to talk to who is just obsessed with Jean-Paul. I think it is this one. Hello. Hello, can we ask you a question? Do you happen to know a machine named Jean-Paul? I certainly do! Master Jean-Paul is a genius! You can rely on him for absolutely anything! Are we talking about the same Jean-Paul here? In fact, I was just thinking about how much wisdom he has to teach me. So I wrote him a letter asking for guidance. You'll take it to him, won't you? Huh? I can't let that lady in the desert get to him first, or that harpy in the amusement park! Great, there are more of these weirdos? And, wait, they have genders? Fucking, yeah, they do, 9S, jeez. Don't be a bigot, fuck. Hello? Ah, yes, I see! Dreams are the mind's version of reality perfected. Hey, Jean-Paul, we have a delivery for you. Ah, allow me to see it at once. Interesting. A letter, is it? A female machine asked us to deliver it to you. She said she could rely on you and that you know pretty much everything. Yes, yes, now if I may, do you believe that existence precedes essence? Um, is this about the letter? No. 
Right, but shouldn't you maybe respond to the letter? Is one duty bound to reply to every question spewed in their direction? If such is your claim, then what power was it that who then what power was it who placed this burdensome yoke about my neck? This is a waste of time. You got that right. There we go. There you are! Well, what did the Master have to say about my letter? Actually, he said it wasn't worthy of a response. I knew it! Isn't he the greatest? I can't get enough of him. You don't say. Fucking weird, if you ask me. Alright, let's go back to the Resistance Camp so that we can hand off a couple of these other quests. Mm. Beef stroganoff. It's good. <clears throat> All right. Hey, we found this stuff. Handed over the desert photo. Oh, this photo. I can still feel the intense heat beating down on me. Was I with someone? Handed over the amusement park photo. This is from the amusement park. I remember having fun there. Together. Together? Handed over the forest photo. This was a waterfall in the forest. I think I stumbled onto it one day when I was lost. But how did I get there in the first place? Now I remember. These aren't just photos, they're bits of data from my beloved. Eight years ago, we were attacked by machines and fought a pitched battle. My love was killed, and many of my memories were lost. This must have been his final message for me. Thank you. You have no idea what this means to me. I know it's not much, but please, take this. That's actually a lot. <laughs> it's not much. Gives me a shitload of stuff. Honestly, I've been thinking a lot recently about whether it's worth it to continue living. This data is telling me that I need to continue on. And yet, what's the point of a world where my love is gone? What's the point of living? Come on, Ines. Let's go. Well, lady, that's for you to decide. You forge your own path. You make your own decisions. Find something new to live for. Hello! Excuse me, is this the music box you were looking for? That's it! Where did you find it? In the amusement park, next to the corpse of an android. Maybe that was its owner? Oh... Was she... Well, it's awfully rusty, but with a little work, I should be able to get it playing again. Of course. Thank you for bringing the box to me. Now I can finally concentrate on my work again. Oh, and you two are welcome to enter the back any time you like from now on. Anti-chain damage chip, tree seed, medium recovery, animal bait, 300 gold, and 250 experience. Hell yeah! What we got back here? What new side quests await me? You! Wait. Hold on. Is it time for crate puzzles? Yeah, these puzzles are pretty crate. Sir. Sir. Ugh. What to do? What to do? Ask what's wrong. What's wrong? Maybe I can help you out. So you're from the bunker, right? Well, it turns out I have some packages that need transporting, but I can't get them out of storage. One of my superiors was in charge of it, but now I have to do it. And there's so much stuff that I can't possibly move it. She's gonna have my head for this. Gotta get those packages for transport out of here. Think you can get the goods for me? Yeah, alright. Great, thanks a million. Crate, crates, 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 crates! I can't get them out like this. Ugh, better make a path first.
Okay. Let's go. Let's go. How did it? How did it? Hold on. Is this one of those things where I have to keep holding B? Nope. Do not have to keep holding B. get that item. I see that item. I want it. I don't need to move that all the way. I don't even need to move this all the way. Shoop. I get a little stuck because my hips are too huge, but I'm able to get through. <laughs> Should be all of the packages. There we go. Proposal. Head outside to deliver the goods to the client. Yo, I got the goods. You went and found everything. Talk about a lifesaver. You really need to organize your storage area. I could barely walk in there. Seriously, you need to clean that place up. I know, I know. I'll take it up with my superior. Here's a little something for your trouble. Hell yeah! I can probably buy another chip expansion. Which I'm going to do. Because it's good to have a lot of space. Hold on! Because it's good to have a lot of space. I should also probably buy more recovery items. <laughs> I've kind of used a lot of them. <laughs> you. Give me more space. Just a little bit, though. Alright, let's see... Let's buy, like, 20 of these. Then let's buy, like, 5 of these. Then let's buy... 3 of these. Okay. I think that's good. Hold on. There's another quest over here. <laughs> you! Say, you're the new Yorha models, aren't you? I guess we are the newest, now that you mention it. Did you need something? I bet new models like you can handle pretty much anything, huh? You might even be able to. No, no, I shouldn't ask. That would be rude, but yet... <sighs> Hello, G-Man. Why don't you tell us what's wrong? Maybe we can help out. Oh, well, if you insist, it turns out one of my friends has gone missing. Missing? That doesn't sound good. Where was this friend last seen? At the material storage site where he works storage site, eh? Maybe we should check it out. Oh, please, would you? Without him, I... I... Please! Yeah, Alright, fucking chill. God. So, wait, just like over here? This is the material storage site, right? Am I in the right place? Am I thinking of the right thing? No, I don't think this is the right place. Oh wait, hold on. Look here, there's something carved in this column. Three numbers. I wonder if it's a set of coordinates. Target point, maybe? Or a hidden location? No way to tell. I'll add them to the map regardless. Alright! Noom. Fucking Noom. Hmm. 
They just got a whole bunch of little pips all over the map, huh? John Paul's Melancholy. Hey, where is this? Oh, those were added to... Okay. Those were added to my map as part of, like... Hey, go find these people. Resistance Disappearance. Where's this? Oh, in the desert. I see. Alright. Well, let's go ahead to the desert. Actually, let's go to the, the 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 caverns beneath the city ruins first and take care of that one save point. And then we'll use that to to transport to the desert. Huh. Amber obtained. Copper ore obtained. It's important to just kind of pick shit up when you find it. Cause like we gotta we gotta upgrade stuff, you know. Shit shit gotta be upgraded. Ooh, they're trying. They're trying so hard. God bless them. Do not interact with me. I will not enjoy it. Those guys are just annoying to deal with when you're... Oh, hey, there's a ladder here now. Those guys are just annoying to deal with when you're uh, on Route A. Make what the in the goddamn... Like machines. Alert. Jamming signals detected from enemy units. These are yeah, some serious looking machines. These machines do not look like other machines. They have a weird paint job. We got some weird paint dobs over here. That's a Homestar Runner reference. No paint dobs. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Machine life forms DNI. Ooh, they're beating up 9S. Don't do that, that's my job. Ow. Ah, fuck, shit, 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 shit. That was fucked up and weird. Alright, let's mash. Mash play on this bad boy. And we'll go ahead and head over to the desert. And do the quest we got over there. Delicious. Enemy machine life forms eliminated. Access point returned to functioning status. Bunker to 2B. The signal from the access point just came back online. Good job. Thank you. I have some information about that, Commander. Go on. The access point went offline because machine life forms were jamming it. Which means they know that facility is one of our network terminals. Yeah, but that's not all. While they knew it was connected to our network, they didn't try to destroy it. It's almost like they were trying to lay a trap. Damn. They're getting smarter by the day. Thank you. I'll be sure to share this with the Council of Humanity on the moon. Understood. Yeah. Understood, Mommy. I mean, Mommy, I mean... All right. 
Let's go over so here. Use those numbers from the resistance camp as coordinates. Yeah, we're pretty much standing right on top of whatever they're pointing to. Oh, these guys are level 30. I didn't even realize. Ooh, fuck. Commander Mommy. <laughs> Ow. Nine X. Oh, fuck. He seems upset. Are you mad? Ooh, someone angry. Someone angry boy. Whoop. I can't see shit. <laughs> No, it just dawned on me. I didn't update my plugin chips. What does that give me? Moving speed up, evade range up. That's pretty good. Max HP up, anti chain damage, range defense, charge attack. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, this guy's tough. Send me up against level thirty fives while I'm sixteen. Whatever, I can take it. I'm super cool and good at video games. Ow. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. He's almost dead. Huh. Analyze the Woo! Machine. Huh? What for? Call it professional curiosity. Analysis. This machine life forms comrades were destroyed. Driven by that grudge, it lured a resistance member to this location. It then proceeded to destroy him. Are you saying this thing wanted revenge? Oh, come on now. That concept is far too complex for a machine. 9S. Please. Have you seen what we've been dealing with? This corpse. I wonder yeah. if it's the resistance member we're looking for. Let's check his memory. Seems this one came here looking for revenge as well. I guess the weaker one lost. <sighs> Man's journal. Can I, like, look at that? In, like, my inventory? Journal left behind by a man. Thoughts about his fallen comrades are spelled out within. Okay. Let's get off. I'll go to you. This. I'm going to feel terrible telling that woman what happened to her friend. It's the truth. She has to know. No matter what that truth actually is. 
TB, I really don't think you're the kind of person that should be saying that, considering the fact that we did 100% lie to 16D. Excuse me, sir. You are entirely too tall. Ooh, Desert Rose. I should hold on to that. I feel like 16 -0, or uh, 6 0 would like that. I think that might be part of her quest line, actually. I don't really remember, though. It's been a hot minute. Do I have any new mail? No. No, I don't. Resistance camp! Let's go! Alright, I'm gonna pick up my bowl of stroganoff so that I can eat it without having to, like, lean over my desk and bump into my mic. Alright. Hey, lady, guess what? Hey, you're back! So, how did it go? Did you find him, or...? Let's tell her the truth. I'm very sorry, but your friend is dead. Oh. He was trying to get revenge against the machine that killed his comrades. No. Oh, no. But he wasn't strong enough, and the machine ended up killing him instead. Damn the machines. I'll murder them all! Whoa, easy, it's okay. We took out the one that killed your friend. You did? Yes, we did, which means that there's no need for anyone else to go seeking revenge. But... What do I do now? I have no one to love. And no one to kill. I have nothing. That's not... Come on, Nines. L look, we'll come back, okay? We'll come back and check on you. I'm sure she'll be fine. She seems well-adjusted. All right. Do we got any th other pressing matters right now? Do we have any active quests? Uh, resistance disappearance. No, overcome with grief for the loss of her friend. She seems to have some kind of plan. Okay, well, uh, let's go to the ruin, or the, the park. No one to love, no one to kill, no one to share my yummy krill. A whale, probably. <laughs> A whale would say that. You're so right. Ah, excuse me. Whoa, shit. Wait. Give me this. Um, hello. Do you know of a machine named Jean-Paul who lives in the village? Master Jean-Paul is quite the mysterious gentleman. One might even go so far as to call him suspicious. And yet he's so alluring all the same. He's pretty sus. Suspicious. And alluring? Exactly! And I know just the gift for someone of that description. You'll deliver it to him straight away, won't you? I won't let that terrible girl in the desert find a way to interfere with our love. Beautiful glass. More like beautiful ass. No, I won't be self-destructing at this time. If you want me to self-destruct, you have to send me ten, a thousand bits. A thousand Twitch bits to self-destruct. Bits for butts, that's what we're that's what we're doing. Uh okay, and then mentioned somebody in the desert. Desert housing complex. Okay.
Uh, Ndoto has cheered 1,000 bits for butts. Okay, hold on. It is now a thousand bits to put the skirt back on. That's how it works. A thousand bits to take it off, a thousand to put it back on. Excuse me, I need to talk to your friend here about a fucking weird robot from the village. Oh, fuck, okay. Hello there. Huh? Master Jean Paul's village, didn't you? I can tell. I can smell him on you. <laughs> okay. That's weird. <laughs> John Paul is wonderful. He pursues new knowledge with a passion that is almost indescribable. I admire him as I do no other. When I was playing this game, I was so terrified that self-destruct would actually game over that I never even tried it, to be honest. It will if you're on the bunker. You do get a game over if you do do it there. You have issues. And you clearly lack a discerning eye. I bet men take advantage of you all the time. Not exactly. All right. I found something that Master John Ball is sure to be interested in. Please take it to him with all speed. A to B. I've been thinking about something. What? Do you think this the fellow is being a little too... What? I don't know. Glorified? That Bro, why did you bleep yourself? 9S? How did you do that with your mouth? Oh, wait, if I transport it, it'll put the skirt back on. So we gotta fucking walk back. That's how- sometimes that's how it is on this bitch of an earth. Another desert rose. You know what? I can't remember if the machine cores actually get used in any sort of, like, upgrades. I don't think they do. But I also don't remember. Quite mysterious, if I do say so myself. And I do say so myself. Okay, so I know that that is going to be the mysterious letter. How do I get out of here? I just hang left. Okay. Yep. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking schmoove. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. This is the correct direction. The correction, if you will. Yep. Yep. We just gotta follow the pipe. 
the pipe is a good indication that we're going the right way. That's a little near Automata pro tip for you. You get lost in the desert, just find the pipe and follow it back. Alone, jackass. I can't deal with your weird hobbies anymore. Like I care what you think, jerk. We're just gonna ignore that. Just because that quest's gonna be a little bit better for us to do when we're ha we're a uh, we're a bit of a higher level. Oh hey, I've got mail. Oh shit. Hi, 6 -O. I love you. It looks like the transporter we installed in the city ruins has gone offline. The surface activity is going to be severely limited until we get it fixed. Can you head over there and get it working again when you have a sec? We'll do. Thanks, Tubi. Sending the details now. I am literally already there. I am so fast. Notification received from access point. Analysis. Ow. Fuck. Shit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Alright, hold on. So how about that V1.1 app? I am interested in seeing where this is going to go, considering the differences that are already... Uh, apparent between the game and the anime. By which I mean, it is really good. It is really good, and I'm excited for more. Chomping at the bit, even. Ah, oh, fuck. But also, yes, hello, Gray. Welcome. I had to pause when they were going through freeze frames because of implications. Oh god, I've, I got, I, hold on, I gotta make a weird, gross noise. Okay. Mission notification. As I mentioned over laser communications, the access point in the center of the city ruins is malfunctioning. Its data upload functions, transporter functions, and more are currently halted. According to the analysis team, possible causes include a faulty forwarding terminal or perhaps even radio interference being emitted by enemies in the area. Please head to the site and check it out when you can. Okay, thanks! Operator 6 60, you are so precious to me. I think those guys are part of the mission. Ow! Rude ass. Ow! Who said you could punch so hard? That Stop that. Them? Let's check this thing out. I don't see any damage. Analysis. Transporter is now operational. This is Yorha Unit 2B. Connect me to Bunker Operator 6-0. Oh, hello, 2B. Operator 6-0 here. The transporter was being jammed by machine life forms. It should be working now. Looks green on my end, 2B. Nice work. I'll let Command know right away. I'll also be sending over a little reward for all your hard work. Roger. You know, 2B, I'm a little jealous. Don't get me wrong, I know all this fighting isn't easy for you, but you get to see all these new and amazing things out there. It just... it might be nice to visit the surface sometime, you know? That's all. I see. Uh, right. A apologies for the unnecessary chatter. Anyway, Operator 6-0 out. 
To to be you know six O's into you, right? Like it's so obvious. She could not possibly be more into you. Checks my inbox. Three simple gadgets, two medium recoveries, 3,000 G, and 600 experience. 2B, thank you so much for repairing that access point. Sorry I'm always putting you through so much trouble, but I've sent along a little reward for all your hard work. Hope you like it. Operator 6-0. 6-0 will need to fucking get in line. 6-0 should get fucking D D Disney Fast Pass. <laughs> Universal Studio Fast Pass, front of line access. They should kiss. <laughs> ah, fuck. I fucked that up. Alright, where was I going? Oh, I need to find the entrance to uh, Pascal's village. That's right. Give me this. Melee defense plus one. Uh, where the fuck was the entrance to Pascal's village from here, actually? A bitch doesn't remember. I'm bitch in this scenario. I don't know if that was clear. I don't remember. I do not recall. Oh, wait, wasn't it? Oh, God, was it near the, um, the shopping center? Yes, so I need to just head left ways. Oh, God, the fucking map's rotating. Fuck that. Hate that. Head north. Okay. I do really like the puppets at the end of each episode for the extra endings. Yeah, so far those have been fucking great. Don't be fucking rude. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 and they're gone. Okay, never mind. Sorry you died, but thanks for the cash. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, this is the parade one. I don't like that one. I'm not gonna do it. I've already done it on my main file, so it's fine. Ugh. Excuse me. Oh, thank god the box is still moved. I didn't know if that was something that was gonna have fucking reset between playthroughs. <laughs> reset betwixt sessions. Don't talk to me. Hey, Jean-Paul, you fucking dick. Hello, Jean-Paul. Do you have a moment? Moments are transitory. One cannot possess them. A moment passed as a moment lost. Symbol of idle, unrestrained apathy that... Can you please just take this present already? A gift! Let me see. 
This place gives me Chow Garden vibes. Here you go. Ah, yes. Fascinating. The machine who gave this to us said that you were both suspicious and alluring. It seems the so-called gift is nothing more than a piece of unadorned glass. Therefore, I can only surmise that... Um, do you want us to bring a message back to the woman who gave this to you? For a mere trifle? No. Okay, then. Let's go. I have another present for you. A present? Of what sort? It's a fossil. One of your followers asked us to deliver it to you. I see, I see. She said you were indescribably passionate when it came to learning, or something like that. A mechanical fossil. No use at all. Do you want us to tell her anything on your behalf, or... I'll not waste words on your junk. Junk? John Paul doesn't seem to appreciate these presents he's getting. I suppose we should go tell his followers exactly what he thinks of them, huh? I'll be waiting for some kind of reply. Oh god, I'm gonna have to walk all the way back to the desert so that I can stay deep pantsed One of the unfortunate side effects of Bits for Butts is that unless somebody gives me what I need to put the skirt back on, I have to do everything the hard way. Because I can't tra I can't just teleport anywhere, because if I teleport somewhere, it's going to put the skirt back on. Oh, hold on. Small Wakavui. How much for 2B to go to Walmart for pants? 1,000 bit. 1,000 Twitch bits to put the skirt back on. And then another 1,000 to take it back off. That's how this works. Did you give my... Did you give my gift to Master Jean-Paul? I must know what he said. Well, he said it was a mere trifle. Such insight, such truth. He sees to the core of things in a way others cannot. I shall follow you for the rest of my days, Master Jean-Paul. That's a long time. Well. To the desert. Let me just figure this out. I'm assuming these people probably fought the statue. The statue is something that you can fight, by the way. <laughs> it's like a level 60 enemy, I think, if I remember right. Oh, hold on. Is this the sticker one? Hello, hello! Welcome to the amusement park! Here's your stamp card. If you collect all the stamps, you win a free prize. Oh, uh, okay. You'll find the stamps inside the amusement park. Make sure to search high and low. Oh, did you get the ultimate weapon? In the sewer. Not yet. Because I haven't gotten to that particular sewer yet. That's the sewer on the way to the coast, not the, not the other one. Just between you and me, I hear that the prizes are more than just free. They're deluxe. Off you go, then. Good luck and have fun. Thanks. Alright, which one of you motherfuckers has a stamp for me? Someone better give me a stamp or I'm gonna start knocking heads. You're not gonna like it. Accept my love... I got a shattered earring. It's cool. Oh, what fun! Oh, what fun!
Oh, hold on. What's that? Is this a stamp? Stamp obtained. Excuse me, do you have a stamp for me? You have business here? No? Uh, okay. Shh, don't shout. Can I help you? Oh, you got some stuff. Bro, you got stuff, though? Thank you. That's a weird flower. I wonder what that's there for. Hello! Are you okay? <laughs> this is so sad. I guess you want a dumb stamp, huh? Fine, stamp it with my tears. Wah. Thanks, man. I'm gonna just pick out a hello. Creepy machine. Say you. You want a stamp? Here. Take it. <laughs> I got a stamp. Thanks, man. <laughs> Crystal. Like from Star Fox? What about over here? What do we got right here? Who's got a stamp? Who's got a stamp? You don't got a stamp. You don't got a fucking stamp. Don't fucking look at me if you don't got a fucking stamp. Don't even fucking talk to me unless you got stamps. Do you have stamps? I can't even talk to you. You're useless to me. Absolutely just a absolute fucking joke of a machine. Iron ore obtained. Is this a stamp? Thanks, Pod. I do like the weapon that you get in the sewer just because of how fucking busted it is. Like, especially if you upgrade it all the way. <laughs> Like, sure, normally it doesn't do a lot of damage, but who golly, if you crit with that fucking thing? Oof. Oof. I say again, oof! Alright, who's got a stamp around here? Who's got a fucking stamp? Where's a fucking stamp? Somebody better give me a fucking stamp or I'm gonna start fucking blasting. What's this? Amber! It's not a stamp. It's not a stamp at a wall. Who's got stamps? It's the fuck around option. <laughs> These stamps. Stamp. We got a stamp. Oh. Alright. Da 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 da. Yay, fun. Oh shit. You're under fucking attack. Oh, that guy got a big axe. Oh, don't do that. Did we go right past the spot that we would normally jump into? I think we did. Unless, did we get it on the second go around? Must be on the second go around. Nope. Yeah, alright. 
Okay, let's head back to the front, I guess. Oh wow, last stand. Can't believe 2B could just find that find a movie laying around like that. To be get rid of it. It's not the worst X-Men movie, but god, it's pretty up there. Okay, where am I fucking going? How do I get out of here? Gotta go this way. I would say it's maybe like the third worst X-Men movie. Like, I definitely like New Mutants and uh, Apocalypse a lot better than that, than it. I would probably say it's better than X-Men Origins Wolverine. And it's definitely better than Dark Phoenix. Remember how they were just like, yeah, we're just gonna call it Dark Phoenix. We don't even need the X-Men brand on it. And then, like, when it was released to, like, home video, it's just like, is, is X-Men Dark Phoenix? We're sorry, please watch the movie. We're sorry that we didn't put the branding on it. We just wanted to prove to Marvel that we didn't need their help. Oh, we need their help. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. Throw down your weapons. Surrender to love. Hey, hey. Do you have a stamp, sir? Let's be happy together. 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 You do not have a stamp. None of you are... You're all useless to me. I'm sorry. What the fuck? fuck is that guy doing? Sir, please, this is a family establishment. Yahoo! Stamps! Stamps, stamps, stamps! One stamp, coming up! Oh yeah, I love stamps! Let's do this thing! You're freaking me out, man. Ooh, I love stamps! Stamps, baby, yeah! Angry machine. Back off, asshole! You machines are alive! You got that? You should die! All of you should die! This goddamn stick should die too! Okay, man. Somehow not nearly as weird as the revved up machine. But you know what? That's fine. Excuse me, are you weird or are you going to be normal? Uh, <laughs> the world is hilarious. A stamp? Sure, I'll stamp whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Someone's meowing. I hear meows. I hear meows up in this. This is exactly how I remember the play going.
Wow. So powerful. A whirlwind tour de force. I want a stamp. I'm also going to take this. Bluey painter? Consumes you. Ayanora? Consumes you. Let's find out what people are saying about Romeos and Juliets. I came all the way here from the village to see this play everyone's been talking about. I haven't been this deeply moved by anything before. I'm going to go home and tell all my friends. So this is a piece of literature from the old world. Hmm. I believe it speaks of the cruelty of mankind. Sure. This play doesn't make any sense at all. What were they thinking? Oh, Juliet, Juliet. Just thinking of you makes my core all warm and fuzzy. What did you think, sir? So we started out with three Romeos, three Juliets, and now there are none. Wait! It's all starting to make sense now! Sure it is. Bravo! Truly a most spectacular performance. Thanks, man! Oop. Hold on. I lost my place. Okay, so there's still one in this area. Could it perhaps be in here? This mysterious elevator. Hmm, very strange. Stamp discovered inside enemy body. Proposal. Destroy the enemy and imprint the stamp upon the card. Easy for you to say. Ow. Gross. Oh god, there's more than one. Oh god, they're behind us. This is getting a little dire. Okay, so uh, this is a lot of dudes. Ow. Ow. And they keep puking on me. Disgusting. Ow. Okay, we're starting to make a bit of headway here. Ow. Quit throwing up on me. It's gross. Ow. Fuck. This 
Still haven't found the stamp. Gotta be in here somewhere, right? Ow. Fucking shit. Severed cable. Machine leg. Dented plate. You're welcome. Alert. All stamps have been obtained. Promote. Return to the entrance and secure the promised deluxe prize. Deluxe, huh? Yeah, alright. This is all super fucking weird, so... Hope it's worth it. Okay. Push Bhutan. All right, back to the entrance we go. Then I suppose we should try and find, try and make our way to the desert, so that we can let that other machine know that Jean Paul doesn't care about her, and she'll probably be thrilled. It's like, oh, he's so wonderful in how he doesn't give a fuck about me. Hey, you got all the stamps! Great job! Did you enjoy your time here? Or maybe not? Well, it doesn't really matter, though I'm sure you realize that by now. Whether or not you enjoy something simply depends on your own heart. This place is but a mirror that reflects one's true self back at them. Anyway, here you go. One Deluxe Prize coming up. Come again anytime. Broken circuit, precious earring, fast cooldown plus three chip, large recovery, 5,000 G, and 1,150 experience. Fucking sick. That's going to be the fastest way to the desert. Probably to head on out of here, honestly. Probably to just leave. You know? Maybe we just fucking... Maybe we just go. Maybe we just leave. Y'all, what if I just left? Hold on, there's an item over here. I ate him. Ah, cop ore. Ah, another item. Iron ore. Orin. Ori. Oriarn. Arlarn. I'm making noises. Not quite words, but definitely noises. Alright, we gotta get to the desert. Don't go that way yet. We don't gotta go that way yet. Although... The fuck was that? It was like a boom outside. 
If we do hop into here... You can just real quick... Commencing fishing. See if we can't get what we need to be here for. Nope. That's not it. That's not it. That is also not it. Hey, here we go. We obtained the iron pipe. And yes, that is the iron pipe from the beginning of Nier. Pod moisturizing in his lane. Now you may ask, Gage, that could literally just be any any old iron pipe, to which I say nay. Because games in near Automata, for the first time, well not for the first time, there's actually weapon stories in Dragon Guard 3. But there weren't weapon stories in near in near in its original state. Uh, but the weapon story for the iron pipe is all about Yona and in this version of the game, the American version of the game, her dad. That's right. Daddy Nier lives on in the American version of Automata. It would be a random pipe if not for the attached lore. Exactly. The lore means it's a special pipe. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So that's considered a small sword. So you can see at its lowest, the attack, the, the damage is 30. At its highest, when it crits, it goes up to 220. But if we continue to upgrade that, while the low, while the damage on the lower side is still pretty low, um, the degree to which, like, it increases when it fucking crits is insane. Ow. So, like, if you can outfit yourself with, like, a uh, critical attack up chip, like, oh golly, you can do some fucking damage, let me tell ya. Fuck this guy. Fuck this weird grasshopper man. Where am I going? Oh, right. I'm going to the housing complex. I remember. I remembered. Let's go ahead and save our game real quick. Let's check our inbox. Nothing new. We've done quite a bit, so it's very important to save the game. I just noticed I apparently dropped a bunch of frames at some point. Like, it's not a huge amount. It's like 0.2% of the overall stream so far, but like... When did that happen? Very strange.
I'm trying to practice extending my jump because I know that there's a point coming up where, like, there is uh, something, there's like a, a platform that you can get to, like, way off in the distance if you extend your jump as much as you possibly can. And I always have trouble doing it. So here I am, doing everything I can, holding on to what I am, pretending I'm a Superman. Fuck you. So something I haven't actually shown off yet is that if you collect, like, so there's three pots that you can pick up. Um, each with different primary fire weapons. And if you... The more of them that you have, you can charge up your uh, secondary fire weapons um, based on how many pods you have, like, in your possession at a given time. So, like, right now, I've got two pods. So I can charge up any sort of, like, uh, secondary ability, se like, pod program that I have up to level two. So check this out. So like we got one going, we hold down long enough, and the other one comes in, and we just pew pew. It's cool. I tend to forget that I can do that. I actually need to go ahead and at some point pick up some other pod programs. But for that, I need cash money. Hey folks, how's you how's you going? Ma'am? You there, delivery boy! Pray tell what <coughs> Master Jean-Paul thought of my present! He called it a useless piece of junk. Such cruelty! I've barely the words for it! When I think about his wanton sadism, it makes me Ooh. Uh, Okay. is exhausting. He doesn't care at all about anyone but himself. And yet his followers just keep talking about how great he is. Nina, he's stop swearing. All this. And what's he even getting out of it? Maybe you should ask him. Nina said a cuss. We gotta wash Nina's mouth out with soap now. Probably wouldn't have any effect on him, honestly. this All right, so now it's time to head back to Pascal's village. Should be able to get there pretty easily. Ooh, baby, we connect into the network. Ooh, bitch, the network. Network in it. Do we have any other quests going on right now except for the mysterious letter? Oh, the resistance disappearance. Right. We're going to need to check on her. At some point. Probably once we're done with uh, Jean-Paul's melancholy.
It may seem a little out of the ordinary to be going through this whole quest line that pretty much amounts to, hey, this dude Jean-Paul is kind of a piece of shit. And he thinks that he's hot shit because he says some vaguely philosophical things. But it's actually kind of important for information we're going to be privy to a little bit later in the game. And it's going to make certain things make a lot of sense. Okay, so I think this way should lead us towards where we can get to uh, Pascal's village. Because I think this is the way that goes to goes by the shopping center. You know, I was a little upset to find out that, like, there isn't, there aren't any, like, um, Nintendo-themed costumes in the Switch port of Automata. Like, that seems like a gimme. It's a little, I'm a little sad that, like, Nintendo doesn't really, like, do stuff like that anymore for, like, ports that come out on its system. Like, make fun little, like, new Nintendo-themed stuff for them. But like, hey, Switch users get the 2P costume, so... They got that going for them, the lucky bastards. I want the 2P costume. Hmm? Where's Jean Paul? Yeah, where is he? I can't fucking see anything. What? Why is the fucking camera messed up? 9S, what did you do? Oh, hey, you again. If you're looking for Jean Paul, you're too late. He set out on a on quote unquote a journey. A journey, huh? Yeah, he said he needed to go find himself or something. Oh, but he left a letter for you. Here. Obtain Jean Paul's letter. Medium recovery, beast hide, experience gain up, plus three, 5,000 gold, or G, excuse me, and 500 experience. Well, he's nothing if not consistent. A weirdo right to the very end. I wonder if all his followers being female had something to do with his weirdness. Did the human sexes interact with each other like this? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's how it works. Guy spouts a bunch of philosophy and women just fall all over him. Ain't that always the way? So, like, what? Hold on. 11B's escape plan. Unit data? No. Items, all items. Grimoire Vice. Oh! That's right, we have a bunch of, like, alternate pods that we can use. Stamp card, stamps, man's journal, memory chip, John Paul's letter. John Paul's letter, it reads, I've left to seek the truth of the world. Throw that trash away. Dope. Let's use the Grimoire Vice thing for a bit. I like that. Ah, uh, the book opens to shoot. That's cool. Alright, uh, let's go check on the lady at the resistance camp, I guess. We're coming up towards the end of the stream here. So, while I'm uh, heading my way over here, I do want to thank every... Oh, hold on. My reactive image. While I'm working my way over here, I do want to thank everybody for coming by. I hope you all had a good time. I don't know why Discord isn't picking up some of my words. Discord, please. I'm begging you. Uh, if you enjoyed the stream, you can subscribe here on Twitch. We have special emotes for subscribers. You can also follow me on Twitter at San underscore Intolerant or on YouTube at YouTube.com slash Intolerant where I post all the streams after they happen. 
Uh, upcoming streams tomorrow, God of War Ragnarok. Friday, something else. Don't know just what yet. And, oh, something just fell off my computer tower. And yanked on my headphone cord. It didn't pull it out. But it did yank on it. Didn't like that. Uh, and then Saturday, uh, I think we're going to be finishing Fatal Frame 2 on Saturday? Possibly? Maybe? And then, of course, more near Automata next Wednesday. So be sure to tune in for that. Oh, I got mail! Report. Mail notification received from access point. Thanks. Well, oh. Huh? She's gone. You looking for the lady who was here? Yeah, she left a while ago. Seemed pretty upset about something, too. And she was armed to the teeth. Oh, no. Hey, I just remembered she wanted me to give you something. Here. Wow, all this? Yeah, she said she didn't need it anymore. Hey, don't ask me. I don't understand women at all. Three pearls, two medium recoveries, a max HP up plus three chip, five pyrite, 5,000 G, and 1,200 experience. Dope. No maintenance, but I do want to buy stuff. Uh, let's see. I want Mirage and Blade. Oh, and let's sell some stuff, since we've got some things that, like, are really only here for us to actually sell them. Well, let's hold on to that. Go ahead and sell these, though. A lovely chonker. A drab bracelet. A shattered earring. Oh, actually, hold on. Cause now I want more, I want more storage. Actually, just give me all the storage. Who fucking cares? Also, can I upgrade my pod? I cannot. Not in the slightest. Alright. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Plug in chips. Automatic. What does that give me exactly? Auto use item, drop rate up, movement speed up, movement speed up, evade range up, max HP, max HP, anti chain damage, range, def range defense, melee defense, charge attack, shockwave. Uh, I want to see. Can I get one of those chips that like allows me to like auto pick up items? Does this guy have anything like that? Hold on. Auto weapon switch, auto program, auto evade, auto fire, auto attack. Those are these are all like easy mode stuff. All right, let's see if we can upgrade or maybe just buy out this guy's weapons, honestly. I can upgrade the iron pipe. Let's do that. Uh, upgrade virtuous contract. Virtuous treaty. Let's upgrade the four O lance. Upgrade the Beast Lord. And yeah, let's do Fang of the Twins also. Just upgrade everything we can. Let's buy Beast Bane and Ancient Overlord. No, don't equip purchase weapons. Virtuous Contract is up as high as this guy is able to get it. Righto, this weapon is now level 3. That's as far as we can take it here, but there are craftsmen in the world who can race to level 4. If I ever beat someone like that, I'd want them to teach me all they knew. Come again! Oh, I will. So now we're we're pretty beefy now. We're pretty beef mode.
Let's see. So I think with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and head on over to the forest. So that we can uh, kind of stop things there and start up right where we need to be uh, next week. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I needed to go over today. Don't think so. Oh, boosh. Pick up item, some more copper. Hmm. There might be something to explore next time. Ah, big boy. Excuse me, sir. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, that guy went down like nothing. Busplode. Level 19. Pretty good. Getting up there. But yeah, next week we'll go ahead and we'll continue the story proper. Uh, where we, we will... Meet some new faces, re-meet some old faces. Re-meet is a funny word that I've just made up now, at this moment. And we'll probably do some more side quests, because there's actually a really good one. That we're going to get around to, uh, or that we'll be able to do at that time. Give me one second. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I'll see you next time on the Shark Stream. Same Shark time, same Shark channel. Take care, everybody.